All right, what's going on, guys? This may be the most credible Elden Ring DLC leak we've had since it was announced. And I can't say I'm too excited about that because covering this is like a bad addiction. We just had the Game Awards a little over a week ago, come and go with absolutely no news about Elden Ring DLC, leaving us all heartbroken and disappointed. And right when I said, okay, I'm done following these leaks, I'm just gonna wait and see when it comes out, something like this comes along and pulls me right back in. So let me give you the basic rundown. What we have today is a seemingly official source, revealing when Shadow of the Erd Tree is going to be releasing. This was a very obvious leak and mistake, because as soon as the news broke and it went public, everything got taken down, which is typically a good sign that what we're dealing with is real and was meant to be confidential, and would make this the second from software leak that's happened this week, and you really gotta feel for him. I know I'd be pretty upset if this happened to me, but the fact of the matter is it's all public, so we're gonna talk about it. But as we get into all the details, if you want to stay up to date on all things Elden Ring from software, and souls likes and enjoy the lore and discussion then go ahead and hit that subscribe button but also go check out my last video i just put up telling the story of elden ring's most forgotten character because i put a lot of effort into that one and i really like it but now let's get into it at about 3 a.m a very odd product announcement came out a company called data blitz dropped this tweet saying precision and power combined pre-orders for thrustmaster eswap x2 pro controller elden ring limited edition are now being accepted in all data blitz branches nationwide and through our e-commerce store. To pre-order online, please click here. With a picture of an Elden Ring custom controller that I think looks pretty cool. Now, normally you wouldn't think too much about this. There have been a lot of Elden Ring licensed products come out over the last year, but when you click on the link and view the product page, there were some very strange things. The first image you'd see alongside this controller was this. Bandai Namco X Thrustmaster Elden Ring Collab. Availability February 2024. Sync with new Shadow of the Erd Tree expansion release Elden Ring Anniversary. And then they had an image of the controller alongside the announcement image of Shadow of the Erd Tree. With the text, design agreed for sample submission by Bandai Namco, open to changes to cope with Elden Ring branding policy slash style guide. Now before we break this down, let me go ahead and say something. That text would not be present on a page that's meant to go public. But then there was a third image of two more controllers, one for Melania and one for Ronnie. And this image has text that said to animate sales in year two of collaboration, 2025, with the same policy policy text, and then at the bottom says, release to be synchronized with 2025 Elden Ring Major Key Beat or New Game Expansion. So we have a lot to break down here. The main takeaway we got from that first image says that this controller is meant to go live alongside the DLC in February of 2024 in order to celebrate Elden Ring's second anniversary. And that's definitely the most explicit information we've ever gotten about the DLC. But before you start jumping up and down and celebrating, I'm not entirely sold on that. First of all, this was clear Clearly something that was not meant to go public. And what tells me that is that policy text I talked about. It says design agreed for sample submission by Bandai Namco. Open to changes to cope with Elden Ring branding policy and style guide. Now first of all that reads extremely weird. And you wouldn't use the word cope on a professional page. Especially one in a marketing setting that's protecting you legally if designs are changed. It's just not the right word there. What this looks like to me were internal images used as a pitch to whoever was going to be producing these controllers or some kind of internal presentation to finalize designs and release times. Now, I'm not saying that the controllers aren't real and that this isn't official. In fact, it almost definitely is, but rather that this was the wrong page that the public was not supposed to see and was not final. And if that is the case, it raises a significant possibility. And that possibility is that they don't actually know the release date and are just using that as a placeholder. And I think what's telling that that may actually be the case is the third image, which claims that they're going to be doing a second release in 2025, coinciding with a major key beat, whatever that means, or another game expansion. And that's where I have to cast my doubts. We have absolutely nothing to suggest that there's Elden Ring content coming after Shadow of the Erd Tree, and I don't think there's going to be. But the text on this image is speculative at best anyway and does not use definitive wording. And that also reads like something that would be shared internally, once again not for the public. In the best case scenario here, that text could be placeholder while the text on the first image is official. But considering that they got the license for Elden Ring from Bandai Namco, it is possible that they shared the release date of Shadow of the Erd Tree. If you are a business wanting to collaborate and plan a product release like that, that would be some valuable knowledge that you would want to know. It would almost be a necessity. So that at least lends it some credence.
But let's play with the idea that that date is correct for a moment. My question is, is that if Elden Ring DLC is going to be dropping in February, why did they skip TGA? It would have been a perfect opportunity for a trailer with a two month marketing period like almost all of their other DLCs have done. And since Elden Ring is their biggest game ever by far, you'd think they'd want to capitalize on that a little bit. Now we did clarify and have accepted the fact that Elden Ring does not follow the rules. That much is abundantly clear. Even so, I just find it so hard to believe that they're going to drop their most ambitious DLC ever, follow up to their most successful game ever, with the longest break between content ever, and only give it a month, maybe a few weeks of marketing. Because here's the thing, January is a marketing dead zone. In the gaming sphere, January is the most quiet part of the whole year. Most companies are on holiday break, and things don't normally pick up until after Lunar New Year. But maybe that's the point. We did just say that Elden Ring doesn't follow the rules, so maybe they will market it in January while everything's dead. But another possibility is that these controllers release alongside the marketing cycle for Shadow of the Earth Tree. As in, they drop a trailer, start actually sharing information about the expansion, and while the hype is alive, release the actual pre-order page for these controllers. I could definitely see that happening. And as it stands right now, I'm not expecting any DLC news until February at the earliest. If we do get something before then, I'll be very happy, but I'm not getting my hopes up for that happening. And that's kind of where I stand on this leak as a whole. Is this a real leak? Absolutely. Is this blatant confirmation of a February release? No. So I recommend having some cautious optimism about this, but I don't think it's time to run wild yet. And there's a few things that really caught my eye about that. First of all, this is very obviously a translation. This website went live in the Philippines, and there are a lot of typos, such as this description here, which has very obviously incorrect pricing, and labels that February release date as only preliminary and subject to change. Now, you're always going to have that wording on your website, but again, we simply can't take this as concrete information. So I just want to say all that to kind of levy expectations expectations a bit, we're still going to have to wait for that official announcement, whenever that's going to come. But I will say this, this leak has rekindled my hope. I'm not gonna lie, after it was a no-show at TGA, I was fully expecting to not hear anything about Elden Ring DLC until summer, and if we're lucky, late February. But like I said, this is a legit leak. This is a real company that has collaborated with Bandai Namco in the past. It's not like we're dealing with any random 4chan posts anymore, or hearsay in Discord DMs. This one's legit. The only question is, if this information is going to change over time, because there's just no chance this was the final page, that was meant to be shown to the public. And we do have a lot of games in the past that have leaked in this exact manner. It happens all the time with superhero games and their merchandising, where a product page will go live with the release date way before the games ever announced anything. But ultimately, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyways though guys, that is gonna pretty much do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. How are you feeling about this leak? And do you think this information is going to end up being accurate? I'm not so sure I can say that I'm sold on it, but it does make me hopeful nonetheless. But you guys go do me a favor now that the video is over and check out my Xamor lore video that went up yesterday. But with all that, I will catch you in the next one.